What's up guys, Austin with Recluse Motorsports here. We're gonna talk about the build bike and why we chose to go with the components and the bike that we went with. Number one, we picked a cable bike. We picked a cable bike because Radius CX really received the most changes in the cable bike. So we started with the Yamaha, we wanted to do it all bike. So 450 FX is a good cross between moto track, single track, it does it all. Um, with some fine tuning, it can do things a little bit better. Like most people, I can only afford one bike at a time. So if I can do everything with that one bike, that's the machine that I want. So going into uh, the componentry and why we chose what we did. Number one, if you're gonna use this thing off road, um, you wanna soften the ride a little bit, especially if you're doing 100 miles of Idaho Station 100, the suspension is key. So we called up uh, MX Tech and uh, Jeremy Wilkie and hooked it up uh, front and rear suspension package, making it a little bit more plush in certain areas and then also res uh, more resistant to bottoming. So the hook valve system goes in there, also coated the lower fork tubes to make sure that we have more durability, better seal life, um, You know, followed up with SKF components as far as the seals go, uh, less stiction, less bumps, less vibrations, the better day. After the suspension, the flex bars come into play. Suspension takes an initial hit. The flex bars also are working every time you hit a square edge bump or going 100 miles uh, and rocks and roots and all that stuff. Um, the flex bars help absorb some of that hit. A cool feature of the flex bars is their wraparound hand guards. Um, not on the bike right now, but they mount perfectly to the flex bar setup. Um, so protecting them from the trees. Uh, good bark buster is always, always necessary and some good single track stuff. Chain sliders, um, upgrading durability there and function. We also went stronger on the rotors with Intec rotors front and rear. Actually went with the solid rotor in the back, which uh, the guys from Intec said that it has the best function as far as uh, uh, brake feel and control. Anything that gets in the way of that rotor, rocks or roots, uh, that rotor will be able to handle it. Team Designs also covered it with the rear rotor guard, um, which is their full system and the caliper guard. Um, more durability added in. We went with Warp 9 wheels, uh, front and rear, full, full rim and hub combo. When you're making traction with Radius CX, you gotta make sure it's getting to the ground. So we looked at Golden Tire, and we went with Golden Tire uh, tires and their G Mooses. We went with the GT216As fatties and the GT333 fatty on the rear. Hammerhead Designs, we replaced the shift lever and the brake pedal um, for their billet setup um, with the titanium tips. Uh, works connection to protect the radiators. If Brandon lays this thing over, I want to make sure the radiator wasn't gonna flatten. So works connection radiator, braces to make sure everything stays where it needs to. Promoto Billet Kickstand, which is a stronger kickstand. Uh, it's got a nice spring to it. Also a little bit lighter than the OEM kickstand. We also replaced the foot pegs with Fastway Evo Air foot pegs, which have replaceable cleats, making sure that uh, Brandon's got plenty of traction uh, for his boots uh, as he heads into this gnarly race. We upgraded the levers on this thing with ARC componentry. So we have uh, both the clutch um, and brake been replaced with the ARC components. We actually went with the full um, ARC clutch perch, uh, which has a really nice adjustable feature um, and great lever feel. Um, we had to go with a little bit more fuel capacity for this ride. It's hard to know uh, exactly how far you're gonna go or when the next gas is gonna be. So IMS uh, hooked it up with a three, three gallon fuel tank that'll make sure that Brandon gets to where he needs to go and gets to those gas checks. Plastic combo that we went with for the bike was Cycra. So it's a power flow setup. Um, actually has some cool features where it allows the air box to be um, secured with uh, bolts rather than the quarter turn fasteners. So making sure that that stays in place. Also some adjustable airflow to make sure that we're getting plenty of air to the bike uh, and letting her breathe. Um, talking about getting air to the bike, obviously gotta get air out of the bike. So full FMF exhaust, uh, stainless steel system that, uh, you know, great upgrade, bolts right on, uh, looks great. Also went with the carbon fiber guards from FMF. Um, for good function, functional protection and uh, great sound and spark arrestor is absolutely necessary for Lido City 100. We updated the water pump and water pump cover with Boysen. Uh, we did Boysen Superflow uh, water pump to make sure that we have plenty of water flowing through the machine. Uh, it gets tied out there on the single track and it's gonna be a hot day. So that'll help um, make sure that the bike stays cool. CV4, we went with their silicone uh, hoses. We actually eliminated the Y pipe that comes factory from Yamaha with the CV4 kit. Uh, really cool feature there. We wound up our game in the chain componentry. So we got a chain and rear sprocket from DDC components. Uh, great, super light, um, very durable setup from DDC. Cormoto supplied the brake lines front and rear. So Cormoto brake lines, uh, steel braided, 
uh, blue with a titanium fitting, so a little bit lighter weight, uh, great durability, and then we tied them up to Moto Whips. They actually coated um, and removed the side glasses out of both the front and the rear uh, master cylinders. As far as weight goes, um, we are adding some off-road componentries. As you add off-road componentries, obviously you're adding weight. So we look to Race Tech Titanium um, to change out some of the fasteners to titanium to make it a little bit lighter, offset some of the stuff that we're adding in. We also went with a lightweight anti-gravity battery to get more power and way less weight. On the seat cover, we wanted to have something that matched the graphics. Uh, so we went with Walker seats and the blue stripe with the rib set up to make sure that we have plenty of grip for Brandon. Um, and it goes really well with the Fresh Moto graphics. Uh, Chris at Fresh Moto did an awesome job on the graphics package. Recluse, Radius CX, um, awesome color scheme. Wanted to go with something a little bit different, white and blue, uh, really highlighting the white. Um, the Psycho Plastic is actually white, so the blue highlights really bring the bike together. We finished, finished off some of the looks with hammerheads. Uh, engine plugs and oil caps. Uh, we wanted to make sure Brandon knew where he was on the trail, so I went with Trail Tech um, and their Endurance 2 computer. We got to thank the guys down at the dealership where we picked up the bike. Snake River, Yamaha, and Meridian, T-Bone down there. Big thank you to you and all the other partners involved in the build. We couldn't do it without you. We're really excited about the bike and how it turned out, and we're excited to see Brandon put it to the test at Idaho City 100. Make sure you check out the next video in the series, The Adrenaline Syndrome.